Yes, we did find an elephant and we were super excited about it. It seems like it's um, a herd. So the one that we're looking at over there, very, very hot girl. So you can see that she's flapping her ears every now and again. And uh, she's not upset with us. She's just, I think, trying to cool herself down. It's like we said, it's a very hot afternoon today. And when they flap their wings like that, they create a bit of a current of air and that helps with the cooling of the blood and the vein system on the what do you call it? The back part of their of their ears and oh, thank you. And then as the veins or as the blood that flows through the veins on the back of the ears start cooling down and they carry on moving throughout all of the animal's body, then they're gonna start cooling the animal down. So it's a good way it's of um irradiating heat, almost like the car radiator where all of the heat's just gonna get dissipated through there. So she is actually being very clever and while she eats, she's also fanning herself. Judging by some of the mud that we can see around her face, her ears, and uh, yep, lots of mud around the ear over there and the back of the body, I think they've been actually in the water not too long ago. So I think maybe they were at Treehouse Dam, which is not too far from where we are, and that's where they've come from in the last hour or so. So I think very likely they got very hot during the middle of the day, so they went down to the water for a drink and then obviously to put some sunscreen lotion or the animal's version of it, lots of mud on them, just to protect their skin from, from the sun and also to try and trap some of those annoying parasites that live on their skin. And hmm, it seems like it's dried out quite a bit, look at that. It is wonderful. It looks pretty, it already looks very rough. They've got a very rough skin, skin, very thick skin, but now with the mud on top of it, it almost feels like, you know, like soil. Very, very hard. And of course, she is having a delicious, what is it that you're eating there? A bush willow. Mmm, yummy, yummy. So you see, they'll eat a lot of bark at this time of the year, and she'll put it at the back of her ear, and it's almost like they're eating a. a uh, a cub, a corn cub, will start almost like rotating it in their mouth and just as they do that then the bark is going to rotate. You see now we can't see the same part as earlier and she starts doing that just to try and get the bark out and get you the juicy part underneath. underneath. That's normally the cambium layer that she's after where all the sugars... Uh, okay, well you got tired of the one that she had. And if, in case you were wondering, <laughs> that's how trees <laughs> succumb to the mighty force of elephants. They're so dexterous with their hands, are, well, with their trunks, aren't they? Almost like a hand. A hand that is a nose, that is the most important thing that they've got. funny it's almost like when you see those old movies with people eating grass and then the grass is sticking out of their mouth that's how sometimes I feel elephants end up looking when they eat the, the small branches or the tree trunks like that and you can see all those hairs that we don't sometimes we're not able just to see around the mouth so they've got a very important some of them are sensory hairs and but they've got a very important uh, function or responsibility almost of protecting the softest parts uh, around an animal's body. So we'll find them at, you know, around their mouth, just also trying to protect a bit of their, their, their lips, the tongue, and then the other places where we often find hairs for an elephant are around the eyes, those very big long eyelashes, just behind the uh, ear openings, and then of course the tail. The tail is almost, I think, also a bit more to try and get all those annoying flies away but now it seems like another two have joined the party her two youngsters look at the tiny ones so as she's moving around these two have been also moving around behind her and just following and never too far away from its mom and I think this morning we were actually discussing about the fact that sometimes we see elephants on their own so normally they're males but we can also see smaller groups. So in this case, we're just looking at a mom with her two youngsters. So the older one, the one to the left, and then the young one, clearly the smaller one, that's also very hot and flapping its ears already. <laughs> so cute. I wonder if perhaps the rest of the herd or if they form part of a bigger herd somewhere in between the bushes. We haven't seen them. We can just see these three. Oh, you see, typical naughty boy underneath mum. Naughty boy is actually a girl. Yep, you're a boy. 
think that those branches in there are playing against me. I don't think my eyesight has been too good today. Maybe I need to have a bit more carrots. Hmm. See, isn't this typical behavior for the youngsters? They've all eaten the... <laughs> the tree that the mother was busy eating before so likely she's already made it a bit easier for them to peel off some of the other branches and that's why they're there or if not they're just having whatever it is that she's already broken off so that she doesn't want to eat anymore just because it's a bit easier for them but also good technique learned from the mother you see the tree trunk goes all the way to the back of the mouth and then that's where the molars the big teeth start crushing everything and they're just trying you see it starts rotating it exactly like a corn starts moving in around to get the bark off and then they're normally after that layer underneath the bark because the bark is not a, a, a living part of the tree it's just a dead part like our skin almost that that protects it from all of the things that are outside but underneath it that's the good stuff that the ellies are after because that's where most of the nutrients are in a tree Teresa, you're wondering how long the young will stay with their mother. Well, the little ones um, are dependent on their mother until they're about four, but they start eating when they're about maybe three months old or so. But uh, again, they just need the milk until they're yeah, roughly about four years old just to sustain their diet. Um, but the females, as they get older, they will stay or very likely they will not go anywhere and they will stay in the same herd where they were born into. Whereas the males, when they start becoming adolescents, so around about maybe 12, 15 years of age, then they'll start this very slow process of becoming independent from their herd. So they'll just start lagging behind or the herd will go further ahead and then they'll just carry on making that distance in between them and the herd quite, quite bigger until they're just pretty much on their own. But it's a process that it's not like in some other cases where they get kicked out and from one week to the next they must go on their own. But it's a bit more of a gradual thing, if I can put it that way, if compared to some, some of the other creatures. But having said that, the females also, they start becoming a bit less tolerant when they become too naughty. Akil, you're wondering how male and female elephants differ when they're, when they're young. Um, well, they, they just have, I'm not too sure how to, what you exactly want to find out from this question, but they are pretty much the same. The males are just a bit, a bit more boisterous, I can put it that way, and they're always like trying to fight with the other males and show their dominance and see who's bigger and stronger and pushing each other around. And then the females, as they get older, then they start almost like babysitting. They start looking after all of the other youngsters or, you know, their little brothers or their little cousins and sisters just to start practicing and developing those skills that they're going to need when they become older. So I think from a, from a behavior perspective, they exhibit the typical girl versus boy behavior that you can maybe find in humans. But also males will become a lot bigger than the females, so they can be... Um, well, they will eventually be bigger than all of them. So I hope this answers your question. I'm sorry, I was a bit um, confused by it. But I think it's just like with, with everything. Males are normally going to start fighting each other. And they're going to start looking for excuses to show that they are the biggest, stronger ones. Whereas females will likely stay with the younger ones and look after each other. And be together. There's a hair tails, the, yeah, the tails, hairs. <laughs> very thick, very, very strong. And all that beautiful rough skin, full of wrinkles. Hmm, Byron has an interesting thing he wants to show you. He's looking for trees today. So let's go over to him and see.